Hello everyone, this is Rahul Rathodio. Welcome back to my new video. In this video, we will be discussing about silent letter C. And in our last video, we had discussed about the silent letter A and silent letter B. Go back to that last video and watch that video because that video will help you understand the concept of silent letter A and B. So without wasting your time, let's begin the class. In this video, we will be discussing about silent letter C. So what do you mean by silent letter C? The letter C is, the letter C is written in a word but that should not that should not be pronounced that should not be there is no sound there is no sound of the letter c it's very clear simple letter c when we study a silent letter that must be written in a word but there is no sound of the letter c the first rule says of the silent letter c letter c is Letter C is silent in the SC combination. Very simple. In the SC combination, sorry. Letter C is silent when it comes after the S or in the SC combination, letter C is considered as the silent letter. Fine. I have a few examples here for you. The example first says we pronounce this as muscle we have to add here c and after adding c it becomes what muscle it, uh, and there is no sound of this letter c c is nothing but your silent letter why because it is in the combination of yes c whenever c is there after this yes or in the yes c combination this c is not pronounced we pronounce this as muscle fine so the next word here this is Time. There is no sound of again C here because it is in the combination of the yes C. And here we pronounce this as scissor. We pronounce this as scissor. Fine. In this word, we pronounce this as C. Again, the C is there after this yes and in the yes C combination. Same here, the rule is applied here as well. We pronounce this as scent. And we pronounce this as a scent. Here we pronounce this as what? Discipline. Discipline. Here it is nothing but scenario. The word is fascinate. What? Fascinate. Here it is nothing but, sorry. This is an exception that we have to understand again here. So, in this all the word, in this all the word, letter C, in this all the word, letter C is a Silent. Letter C is a silent. Why? Because it is in the S to C combination or it is after the after the yes. So now this is what the rule number one says. Whenever C is in the S to C combination, that is considered as the silent letter. And here we have an exception here. An exception, which means I already I have told you about the exception in our last video. Exception is something which does not come under the rule. That is called the exception or which does not follow the any rule. It has its own way of working. Fine. So that is what exception. In this exception, just before we studied that, whenever C comes in the SOC combination or in the after the year, the C is known as the silent letter. Yes, we studied. But in this exception, exception doesn't follow the rule. Here, there is a word called the school. In the word school, C is in the SOC combination and after this, yes. But though it is pronounced, it must be pronounced. We can't say that school. We have to say here school. In the word school, C is a not silent letter. C must be pronounced. There is a sound of the letter See why? Because it is an exception. Exception which means it doesn't follow the rule. Fine. So here there is no sound of C. But here in the school word there is sound of C. Even though the C is in the SOC combination. Fine. In the second word again the C is pronounced. What is this? Co. We can't say to. We have to say here co. Because it is in the exception case. Whenever something is the exception case, that is out of the uh, rule. Fine. So now here we pronounce this as co, and here what is this? Here it is a cat. 
can again the c is in the soc combination but it is pronounced we call it as can here we call it as for here we call it as what corpio scale scale and collar so all these words are same as soc but these are the these are the exceptions which does not follow the any rule so this is what the rule number one says about the way the letter c is kept silent and along with that you must keep in mind that the what are the exceptions are there if uh, uh, if you see the uh, letter c after the yes or in the ssc combination just do not identify without understanding and without reading that the letter c must be silent there but you can get a few exceptions there so please keep in mind the exceptions as well so this is what the silent letter c is rule number one so note it down i will tell you the rule number two of the silent letter c we discussed about the rule number one of silent letter c and now we have rule number two of silent letter c the rule number two says that letter c is the rule number two says that letter c is silent or useless in front of k or q letter c is clear letter c is silent letter c is silent in front of k or q if letter c comes before this k or before this q which means in this case letter c is considered as the silent letter for example see here in the word acknowledge letter c is a silent letter it is a silent letter why no because the rule says that letter c is silent in front of in front of the k or q we'll discuss about the q but before so in front of the k letter c is considered as the silent we pronounce this acknowledge in the second example it is also applied here letter c is again a silent letter why you know uh, yes letter c is silent in front of the in front of the q so there is an there is a q here and before this in front of the q letter c is considered as the silent letter so we pronounce this as acquired here before this k or in front of the k letter c is a silent we pronounce this as back and before this again the rule is applied here it is hack and it is neck why the c here is not pronounced because letter uh, sorry the rule says that whenever c whenever c comes whenever c comes before this k or in front of this k or in front of or in front of this q letter c is considered as the silent letter this is the rule number two says about the silent letter c so in this all case letter c is a silent letter so this is what the today's concept of letter c as a silent letter i hope everybody must have understood the topic and if you have any queries related to this video feel free to ask us in the comment section and ha if you haven't subscribed our channel do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates Thank you so much for watching this video. If, if this video was helpful, do not forget to share this video with your friends. Take care. We'll meet in our next video with the next concept. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep learning with Learn to Teach.